Ten things you can keep after your death. The first one is your sense of sight. Some people who have been born blind at birth will be able to see with their spiritual eyes after death. And people that can see before death will still be able to see after their death. The second one is your sense of hearing. You definitely should be able to hear sounds, especially right after someone that's skunked and dead in the hospital room, where they can still hear sounds in the room, but it will go beyond that as their soul leaves the hospital or wherever on earth. When that soul is in heaven, they should be able to hear voices telepathically from other souls. It should also be true for hell. Third one, you should still have a sense of touch. You should be able to feel the temperature of things, whether hot or cold or in between. It was told that if you can feel temperatures after death, that would definitely be considered a sense of touch, I would believe. Fourth one could be your sense of smell. I believe people in heaven could smell wonderful aromas there. I personally have not died and came back from heaven myself, but I imagine you could smell there. For the unfortunate souls of hell, there may be times when they can smell burnt sulfur or burnt flesh from the pits of hell at the end of there, which would be the absolute worst place any soul could ever go. This one could be your sense of taste. I heard it was said that you could eat at the banquet feast celebration in heaven after the tribulation. That would tell me that your soul would use their sense of taste in that event, for example. People in hell may not even be able to taste even one drop of water in their mouth from the lack of water in hell. The sixth one would be your soul. Your soul speaks of your inner life in relation to your own experience which consists of your mind, heart, will, character, thoughts, imagination, desires, passions, dreams, and feelings. Many Christians believe that your soul continues existing after your body is dead. But there are other faiths that also can believe that you can keep your soul. The seventh one would be your spirit, which is not exactly the same as your soul, but your spirit speaks of the same inner life in relation to God, which is your faith, hope, love, character, and perseverance. Eighth one would be your memories. You will have past memories of a lot of different things, no matter how good or bad they were while you lived here on earth. It was told to me that souls of heaven will not have a remembrance of souls of hell. Very unfortunate. Ninth one would be secrets. Some people will keep good or bad secrets from other people that they have not told anyone, but only the good and bad spirits will only know about their secrets. The tenth one is your sense of movement. At first, they probably won't have a choice of how or where they move. They will probably be carried off from the face of this earth into a totally different realm, where many will be carried to the judgment seat of Christ they will be judged as to whether they go to heaven or hell by a series of accurately kept records. In heaven they should be able to move pretty freely, but if their soul ends up in hell, their movement can be very restricted. And that is 10 things you can keep after your death. I appreciate you watching my video. Share this video with other people if you like it, so more people can see it. And I also have other videos that you can check out.